Tim Panasic for Gibbons Motor Toys. We're still at the Edmonton Boat Show. We have a few more boats that we're gonna do here, take advantage of the uh, interior space and all the boats being cleaned up. So today we're gonna look at the uh, Stabycraft 2250 walkthrough. So this is a relatively new model for Stabycraft. It's available in two packages. You got both the Adventure Series and the Offshore Series. So this is the Offshore Series, which is the one that we're primarily stocking. It's just got more features on it. Basically the same haul with just more added features. So looking at this uh, 2250, it is 22 and a half feet long. We're gonna talk about that more when we get inside the boat and get you into the bow, cause that's what's unique about this. But I think the one thing that's important to point out that this 22 and a half foot Staby craft, when you compare it to any other traditional boat with a V nose, this would be more like a 24 foot boat for the space, the cubic feet that you have to work with. Because you've got a flat nose, it gives you that much more usable space in the boat. So keep that in mind. Even though it's a 22 foot boat, I feel that the usable space in it would be more comparable to a 24 foot boat. This has got a 17, 17 degree dead rise hull. Uh, the one thing that's very important with Stabycraft boats, and it doesn't matter if we're talking the 15 to the 27 foot, is gonna be the performance on the water. Every one of the Stabycraft boats, and this boat was recently water tested. So to see the complete uh, specs on the performance test with this boat, you, uh, take a look at our website, that'll be listed there. Uh, as far as the uh, what's unique with the Stabycraft boats is the ability to get up on step at such a low speed. I think that's one thing that you'll find is that uh, typically you're probably going to be 10, 15, 20% lower speed to get up on step and stay on step. The smooth ride goes without saying. You just take a look at Stabycraft's videos where these boats are tested, the rough water that they can endure. They just give you that really smooth ride. The way that the hull bottom is designed, the big reverse chines, the deep V in the bow, it just gives a very, very smooth ride. The other characteristic with Stabycraft is, as the name implies, stable boat. You can have you know large people moving from one side of the boat to the other, and the amount that this boat rocks, whether it's on rough water or just people moving about the hull, because of the large reverse chines and the air chambered hull, the boat remains very flat and stable in all conditions. Uh, Staby Crafts uh, chambered hull, which is their trademark, that information is available on their website, but this is air chambers that surround this hull. So it's basically an inflatable boat, but it's aluminum. Since we're looking at the side of the hull here, we'll look at the trailer as well. We've fitted this with an upgraded trailer. The standard trailer that we package under this is a 5,800 pound galvanized easy loader trailer. This has got the upgraded 6,100 pound I-beam trailer with disc brakes. You can see the uh, cabin, the glass, the sliding windows, the, uh, the way that the glass, the fit, the finish, how we use square glass and how it uh, tapers in the both in the front of the boat. The rear, the sight lines are amazing. The amount of glass, the visibility, the smaller glass that you have up top. You know, some people say, geez, you know, my windows are a little bit smaller. Well, that's simply designed for rough water. If you do wear a wave over this boat, look at the, uh, the strength that you have and with the smaller windows, you've got the strength to be able to basically crash larger waves and uh, be safe. So we move to the stern of the boat. This uh, one is uh, packaged with twin 115s. We've got the uh, auxiliary kicker bracket on here for somebody that wishes to add a kicker. That's an option based on the customer's needs. We're going to sell our 22 foot uh, boat with uh, three different engine choices, uh, twin 115s, twin 150s, or a single 250. So if we package this with a single 250, it's going to be a 30 inch leg. So you can look at the depth of that transom. When we do it with twins, because of the V bottom, we're doing twin 25 inch legs. So that's important to note. The boat is rated to a maximum of 300 horsepower. 
The reason we're doing a 250 horsepower with a single and not a 300 is that we don't build a 300 in a 30 inch leg. Performance difference between the 250 and 300 is gonna be fairly neg negligible with this style of hull regardless. And they're both V8 engines, so your performance is gonna be very similar. So with the twin engines, you could see this setup like this. Um, look at the freeboard clearance that you have here. Now, the other thing we should point out when you're looking at that angle is the game chaser transom. So I talked about other uh, performance characteristics that are common to Stabycraft. Here's another one that's real important that a lot of people overlook talking about, and that is the game chaser transom. And the reason that they call it that is all Stabycraft boats, what they do, what's unique compared to most other manufacturers is their ability to back up. These boats will back up, you know, eight, 10, 12 miles per hour, and they do it very efficiently. And they do it uh, in such a fashion that the boat control is almost as good as when you're going forward. You just turn these engines slightly to the port side, the boat tracks to the port side, just like the engines are turned. You go back the other way, it doesn't matter which way the wind is blowing. If you have tides to deal with, the tracking in reverse, like I say, is almost as good as forward. And then look at the freeboard that you have here. If you do have waves splashing up here, sure, you'll get water in this area, but look at the extra height you have here. So again, very safe boat. As we walk around to the starboard side, we've got uh, Staby Craft's uh, famous, uh, beautiful boarding ladder that you can use with any kind of footwear I don't care if you got bare feet or flippers on, you're gonna be able to access this ladder easily. The quality of it, the fit and finish of this is just really durable. This boat's got optional uh, Lenco trim tabs on it that you can see there. And on that note, we'll just make our way into the transom. There is a filler plate here, which you'll see, I'll just remove this. So this just comes out in a lot of cases, you really, you don't have to have that in. It's, it's there so that if you are in big water and you are running in reverse, it just gives you that extra freeboard height. This is a flip up uh, seat in the back. So when you're back here fishing, that could be flipped up to give you more deck space. As the other thing that's common with every Staby craft is gonna be your wide gunnels. So you've got your stainless steel rod holders on this offshore package, which are an upgrade. You've got your cup holders, your tool holders here. Um, the gunnels, just like every other Staby Craft boat, an extremely comfortable place to be able to sit. So you can sit anywhere along these gunnels on both sides. You've got a place to put your feet up here. So you don't really need to have any chairs or anything back here. You've got these gunnels, which are you a guy can sit here for hours and be quite comfortable. You can still access the steering wheel, your controls here. This is an option, the second helm. The uh, glass uh, bulkhead door back here, so that's an option. We have the C-Star DTS controls. So typically these 115s would come with mechanical shift. This has been upgraded to digital shift, so both the main helm and the auxiliary helm. Again, your steering control here. Oh, the other thing that's uh, done here is we've also got the electric Optimus steering system. So that is an expensive upgrade, but it's a beautiful upgrade. The control that you get with this is really unmatched compared to any other steering system. It's really the way of the future. A couple of advantages of it is, first of all, the ability to just turn it with really zero effort, no matter what kind of a load you have on the engines. And the other thing that's unique is if you look at uh, your engines right now, they are zero degree tow in and tow out. As soon as this boat gets on step at approximately 3000 RPMs, we have it programmed where they're gonna tow in approximately one and a half degrees. And what that does is it matches the wash line of the, uh, of the hull. So that's gonna give you again, a little bit better performance, burn a little less fuel and give you a little bit more efficiency. The other thing that the EPS steering does is allows us to program how many turns it is lock to lock. So when the boat's not on step, we've got approximately three and a half turns lock to lock so that those engines are moving really quick. It's gonna give you better ability when you're trolling for better, quicker boat control, as well as docking and loading on a trailer. Once the boat's up on step, this is gonna to increase to approximately five and a half turns lock to lock so that when you're running on rough water at high speeds, it's a lot less sensitive and it's gonna give you better, safer boat control. 
As far as the rear bulkhead option that we talked about, this is really a nice high quality uh, feature. You know, the door lock, the latches, how everything uh, opens, close. There's no rattling. Everything's very high quality here. You've got grab handles here. You got grab handles here for people that are standing back here when the boat's underway. You've got all your rod holders on the roof. We'll take a look at the roof in a minute here. You've got uh, some workable space on the dash here for throwing, again, tools, lures, whatever you might have. As we make our way into the cabin, this also has some other options. This is the uh, rear sleeper seat option. So these uh, rear cushions will uh, we'll just pull this up and show you. So this has got the optional uh, porta potty in it underneath this seat, along with some more storage. The back cushions just are easily removed. And this does convert into a, a sleeper seat. This side is storage. So huge storage boxes, same thing. That cushion just becomes a bed. As far as the seats, these are standard on this boat. So this is the bolster seats. So they're a nice bolster. So you can stand here. You got a place to hang on to. You can sit up here. If you want a higher seat, you can have the bolster up. Or of course you can have the bolster down and sit back however you choose. Same with the main helm. This is a seat slider on here, so you can adjust that. Bolster up, bolster down, just like we showed you. This has got tilt steering in it as well. We've got plenty of space on the dash here for pretty much any size of electronics that you want to install here. We've got a, our digital controls that we talked about. So everything's really laid out well, easy to access. And as far as interior storage of the boat, we've got storage behind. We've got storage right here beside the driver on both driver and passenger side. Instead of a folding locking glove box, you know, I think this is a really good utilization of space. You got two shelves here, you got USB 12 volt ports, you got a, you know, another great place for storage of items. And then there's a couple th more things that are very unique about this boat. So if, this has got the uh, cushions in the front and uh, this does fold into a berth very easily. Simply just pick this up and instead of having your step where you sit, now you've got yourself a, uh, a bed. One thing that Stabycraft also does that's unique, and this is a fairly big deal because most boats are designed where you pretty much have to have your head in the bow whether you're anchored or whether you're pulled onto shore, bow of the boat's always higher than the stern. What Stabycraft has done here is they've raised the rear of this berth area so that you put your head to the back, your feet into the narrow area, which really makes a pile of sense. So we'll fold this up and then we'll talk about the most unique feature here is gonna be our walkthrough. So we've got a pilot house design. So the forward facing glass with access to the bow. I'm not aware of any other manufacturer that uh, does this. So this is quite unique and it's very simple the way that it works. So I just simply <coughs> fold this portion down. This now becomes a step. This center glass lifts up. You've got an opening here, but it even gets better. This also pushes right back. So now when you're coming in and out of here, you know, I'm not the tallest guy, but a six foot or plus person is going to come in and out of here very easily. When you get up into the bow, like we pointed out on the ground, you've got your flat nose here. So look at the usable space. You know, this is a great place. You can be jigging, casting, spotting, whatever it is that you might do. This is very workable space. This bow rail is extremely heavy duty. And this is a Tasman 8 drum winch that we have. It is an option in this boat, but there's where your heavy duty drum winch hides out of the way. There's just some more storage under here. And it's all drainable. So any water that you get up here is gonna drain overboard. You can see the uh, relief holes on the sides. So again, you wear a wave over this boat. There's no water that's gonna hang in here again into your cabin. 
You can see the roof well from up here. You've got the radar arc that comes standard on this boat. You've got handholds up here to hang on to. So this is what's really unique. You got everything from cup holders up here to a big working area. So this is a very useful part of the boat and really expands what you can do with a boat of this size. One other little cool feature is if you look at the dome lights on both the passenger and driver's side, they can each be red or white. So if you got a white light when you're at rest and you want more light in the cabin, when you're driving underway, you got the red light that's not gonna interfere with your vision. Looking at the transom and the fish box in this boat, this is called a US uh, transom and it offers a very nice large fish box. And this has got the live well option on it. So if you want uh, to keep crab alive or recirculate your water, that's all plumbed in and ready to go. As far as the electrical, you can see that we've got uh, all your uh, BP switches here. We've got two crank batteries and a house battery in here. And because this is a sealed boat, you can see the pontoon. These are the pontoon, the air chambers on the sides. This floor, everything is sealed in here. And any water that gets on here is going to make its way to the back, run into the bilge where there's a sump with an auto bilge pump. You're not going to see that very well from here because it's right at the uh, stern. So hopefully this video has helped you learn a little bit more about the 2250 walkthrough. As always, uh, please uh, like us on uh, YouTube and uh, subscribe if you want to uh, see more videos from us like this.